Okay, you have to pivot. I wasn't even here during the first week, but we're gonna prove that out. Hello, good morning everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this morning I'm going to be working on this dashboard. I think for the majority of the day I have two meetings. One I don't know. It's just like a touch point with someone on my team. We have like a weekly Thursday check-in call to see if we need to help one another out. I don't know if we're going to have this call today because yesterday I pulled a lot of the data that she needed. This call may be canceled. So far I need to get out my, my report for this morning and then I need to to work on this dashboard. I don't know if I said this in the last video, but I was working on some code for like the past couple of days and Monday was just show. I, I don't because EDW was so slow and so delayed. I believe something happened like Friday night like after work with EDW which is why it was so slow on Monday because people probably weren't able to get their work done Friday. Everybody's trying to you know query the database on Monday so it was just super slow and delayed. So everything I was trying to do Monday got pushed to Tuesday and then I had other stuff that I needed to do on Tuesday. I was rushing and then we had like a last minute request that we had to pull up together as a team to work through and when I tell you like we could not agree on like all I can say is like people with their personalities and there's some people that are not willing to bend or see things from someone else's perspective and that makes it difficult to work as a team which is why I sometimes per like this is why I like having individual projects because when it comes to working on a project together as a team you have all these different personalities and thoughts and ways to to, you know do things but like certain things I'm saying like the reporting won't support like you one person had an idea we should do this and it's just like but reporting the way it is today will not support what you're doing and they just kept bringing it back up and I'm like still the same concern reporting does not support what you want to do. And it's kind of like we are hitting a brick wall like at what point are you going to realize the reporting we have today doesn't support what you want to do. So as of today it's March 21st this is the first quarter. All companies are trying to meet their first quarter goals. So if there's a particular metric or whatever that they're not hitting and they need to they are going to pull out all the stops because all I know is earlier in the month we were performing really well. Well, I'll just say this last month performance was really well in this metric, even for the first week or so. Well, I can't even say the first. No, I haven't checked March. I haven't checked like the first week. I wasn't here. I was on a trip in Minnesota, so I wasn't even here during the first week. And I don't think I caught up on looking at March performance last week because I was just trying to catch up on my regular everyday work. So I don't even really know. But this month from other things I've been told, we're not performing as well this month as we did last month in this specific metric. So now they want to push all these different initiatives and marketing, all these different things that are going on to push sales for this particular product. Okay, got it. This is the focus for the last two weeks of the month or week and a half that we have left that they're wanting to focus on so that we can end first quarter quarter strong and meet our first quarter goals for sales of this particular product. That's what we're all focused on right now. I have another project which is this my own individual project which is this dashboard that I'm working on to get created for sales of a different product. I'm trying to check at the individual sales rep level and see how they're performing month over month. Are you performing at a high level every month or are you dropping? So that's what I'm I'm looking at because the theory is high performers are high performers like if you're a high performer typically you will remain a high performer is the thought but we're going to prove that out are our high performer and if I'm going to show one of the things I want to show is okay what percentage of our high performers are remaining high performers month over month you know so that's one thing I one way I want to look at it and then another thing I want to look at is like the quantity of sales that they're doing for this product compared to like compared to other people I want to get an average and bucket it out month over month like the average sales by each 
group that I'm going to do. So what I started doing when I was in the office was doing um, in my dashboard, I started doing a rank percentile or is it called percentile rank in Tableau? I don't remember. It's one of the others so that I can group them into different buckets based on the percentile of where their performance came like in that month. So what it's doing is it's taking performance for each individual in that month and grouping them in different buckets with that percentile rank function. So, or cal function calculation, I, it, it's doing that. So that's what I'm doing there. And then after I group them by these buckets based on that percentile of where they're falling at, I'm going to look at that each month and say, okay, you were in this bucket. And then for the next month, were you in this bucket? That's what I'm working on for that particular dashboard. I need to get this report out first. So let me work on that and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, so I got that report updated, but while I was updating that, I actually remember I need to update a report that I created in Google Sheets for, so someone on another team, that I used to be on a team with them um, last year, they asked me, so there's a table in our database that has hierarchy, but it's not necessarily the best for sales. So there are other tables that have sales data um, that's relative to sales employees that I pull together and create a report for it for you know just for internal use for us I gave her access to it and she wanted me to refresh and update it so I actually need to make some modifications to this report that I created in Google Sheets so I'm going to work on that for a little bit until like 10 until the, I'm supposed to have this call and I can probably actually check with let me check with my teammate to see if we still need to have this call first While I wait for her to respond to let me know if we need to have this call today. So what I've created is kind of like a report for sales that shows their hierarchy. Well, kind of like shows like the internal hierarchy. So like who they report up to that type of information. So like, for example, for me, it would in the hierarchy, it'll show like my name and my manager, my manager's manager and so on and so forth. So we have dashboards that have this data, but not really for sales employees. So I created something of my own that we could use. So I just need to refresh it for this person to and add in a couple more fields. The way that I have it set up is in Google Sheets again. The it ha, All you have to do is input the employees like some type of ID of the employee. They have multiple types of IDs and sales. So you if you have one of these IDs, you input that information in and it will return everything else that you're looking for for that employee. So I'm going to work on this and refresh this. I thought I made a okay yeah I made a copy of it yesterday so I need to do some testing so a lot of this is using VLOOKUPs and I've even had to do like an XLOOKUP so it references back to the hierarchy so if you input one type of ID or a different type of ID it's looking that data up and returning everything in one place so okay sorry you guys my manager pinged me and or tagged me in a in a so one teammate says we don't need to have our pull-up call today because we met yesterday she has everything she needs manager just tagged me saying she needs me to pull some data for March in the same metric that they're trying to push performance for the end of the month they want me to look at the March run rate for it and also so it looks like they're going to try and push it for April as well so they want to look at the run rate for for performance this month. Okay, I need to know what specific metric because we have several different metrics. What are y'all talking about? Okay, I need to verify what metric are you referring to so I can make sure I can pull it. So this Google Sheet update to show hierarchy is going to have to wait um, a minute so I can pull this data, but I need to verify what specific metric she wants because, so give me a moment, let me respond to her.
Oh yeah, it is down from February. Oh wow, significantly down. That's like a 10% decrease. So they were at about 87% and this month they're at like, what is it, 75%? Oh, that's a 12% decrease month over month. Performance, 12% Pitch points down so if they were at 75 they're currently I mean they were at 87 currently at 75 so they are down by almost 14% month over month oh and then for what like for this particular I don't understand I need clarification I'm waiting for my manager to respond so I can get clarification on the specific metric that she's wanting me to look at because we have for this particular sales metric we have an attainment metric there is a quota metric there's a metric that does counts so they all have the same like verbiage that describes what the metric is but one is attainment one is to quota one is counts I want to know what specific one like because it sounds like there's one specific one you want me to look at, but I'm just needing to verify that so I can pull the correct data the first time. If we need to go back and compare it to others, we can. However, I just need to know what it is exactly that you want me to look at. So I'm waiting for her to respond to me, but I am going to go start look. I started looking at, this is the same metric where I said they're trying to push the sales for the remaining part of the quarter. Looks like they're going to push that into second quarter as well. Okay, and I just briefly pulled from a dashboard what the performance was in February compared to what the performance is looking like month to date in March. And month to date in March, it's down by 14% pretty much. So I do understand why they're trying to push this particular metric. So what are we going to do? I need to, oh, I need to pull data from, I'm going to pull some data that's already existing in a dashboard that I can use just to do a comparison. I thought I was going to be able to work on my dashboard today, but this is how it is. Like you get these ad hoc requests and you have to, you have to pivot and work on other things that take priority, which was my situation on Tuesday. Like I was trying to catch up on work and I was like, no, this is going to take a higher priority, but you still need to get all your other work done but this is a priority. I'm just downloading this data. Okay, you guys, so my manager responded and told me the metric that she's looking for me to um, pull this data for. So I'm working on getting that. It's already in an existing dashboard, so I'm going to leverage the dashboard that's already out there that reports things out at the different market levels and then the enterprise level. So I'm just going to export the data from this dashboard. It is kind of like what everyone uses. You know, you have certain reports that are kind of like um, the one source of truth that everyone uses. So just use that instead of trying to do your own thing, come up with your own numbers that may be different. So is it not gonna let me export the data? Like I'm trying, but it keep like Tableau, sometimes it just gets on my nerves. Like every time I try to export the data, it just keeps refreshing. Like I just wanna download this, please. Thank you. I don't know why it does that. I don't think it's me because I've seen it happen to other people, but I don't know why it's doing it. What I need to do is, so I have the month to date number. I'm going to look at the daily since the month's not over. I'm going to look at the daily and then I'm going to do a run rate to see like what the trend has been month to date. Because I don't, hold on, let me look at their metric definition. So they have a definitions page. So there's a definitions page on here, which I love that everyone does is um, so you can kind of understand how they're doing their calculations, um, kind of the logic. This is the logic behind it. Like we put definitions pages on we put definitions pages on our dashboards in order to kind of explain in as general of terms as you can because some of these dashboards are out for public use for people that aren't in our world so you kind of have to simplify your explanation so the definitions page just show is supposed to have like what metrics you're using and how you're doing the calculations and this is why I don't understand why a lot of people are like coming up with their own calculations when most of the dashboards and reports that are out there show you how it's being calculated and you come up with a whole different number. Why? Why? I don't know. But this is what I'm looking at to see how they're calculating it. I just want to make sure it's not already like the number because in some of the dashboards that I use or create, sometimes we have to do a forecast and 
the forecast is already a run rate, you know? So I need to make sure this is not based on a forecast because if it is, it's already calculated for us. And I think that, oh, it is, a, it is. Like it does say that in the definitions page. So it is a forecast. So I don't know what you're wanting me to do. This is the forecast, so. And I don't think they include, this is forecasted out through the end of the month. Uh, quota entertainments are based on. So you want me to divide this by 31 days? Cause it's already a run rate. Like when I met with finance about this report before they were like, yeah, it's a run rate. It's already, so this is already calculated to be what it's done. Cause the way they have it worded. Now this is what confuses a lot of people. They have this verbiage for the definition says it's a forecasted run rate. What does that even mean? So when I met with someone from our finance team, who owns this specific dashboard that we consider, you know, Bible and the one source of truth. They said, no, it's just a run rate. So with the run rate, you're looking at, you look at the data for the days lived divided by, no, I'm sorry, you look at your result divided by the days lived and multiplied it by how many days are in the month. So if this is already a run rate out for the entire month, then I can just take this result and look at what the daily is, like divided by 31, isn't this 31 day month? Yeah, so I can just divide it by 31 days and that is the daily run rate. Okay, so let me do that. I think this is gonna be more simple than what Since this is already run rated out, I will, I need to make sure, I don't know if we're, if, are we on the same page? Like with this number? Cause I don't know that we are. Let me level set to make sure, okay. Why are you trying to do my work for me? I'm working on it. No. All right, I can already tell today is going to be a long day. Okay, so I got it. I'm going back and forth with my manager because she said she wanted the all in number, but no, she wants individual numbers. So I'm like, okay, this number is already a forecast. Like we have it, but it's already a forecast. So I'm trying to, I need to wait to get hear back and get clarification from her but then she sent someone else to me to get files but I don't work on all of these like I don't know what you're looking for um let me get this file let me find it where was it would it be in 2023 folder uh you know what make a copy of this so I can just delete make a copy in the same folder and I can just delete the data that would not be applicable to them. Okay, so I'm trying to give them this final look. Who needs access to it, you? Okay, I'm directing them to someone else for reporting, to someone else on my team to get reports for something else. Like I didn't, I helped this person out, but I don't have any of these reports that they're asking for. Or would I know where the, she has them located because I didn't work on it like that i just was in and out in and out with helping them so you know reach out to her for help and i will give you what i have so i have this listed but not We have a meeting, so I'm joining this call. 